So I often wonder with these new drones that are out there, especially with the new Russian drone that's coming out that is supposed to be undetectable, why they don't make the underside of the drone an LCD panel? <clears throat> if you make it an LCD panel and then you reflect through the LCD panel what's above it, then everything from the ground is just going to detect it as the sky above it. I mean, by alternating the sound wave frequencies that are coming from it in the first place and then changing over the way it looks from the ground and then by changing its variations of its own energy output so you can't ping it by creating its own ping signature that causes everything to go around it, you basically would have such a stealth fighter that you could make it, I don't know, say 75 feet long or 80 feet long. As long as the ground can't see it, it looks just like everything above it. All you'd have to do is turn the bottom side of the stealth itself into one giant LCD screen. And then do a future view 360 cam on top and take that view from the camera and put it to the underside and you wouldn't even know it's there. And plus if you use hydrofoil technology that enable it to use its own gases on the inside of the drone itself so that way its buoyancy was based on what was going on inside of the drone instead of thrusting the drone, you would have a wonderful operative machine that would be able to go into areas where nobody would be able to detect you. And for scouting missions, mapping, blueprinting, or following complex regimes that are moving around, it would be ideal. Plus, on top of it, there'd be no signature. So, what would you hit? I mean, what would you fire at? Blue sky? It's really hard to hit blue sky. It's everywhere. Anyways, sounds like a fun new project for the prototype. It's amazing, though. The United States of America, for the last 15 years, has been so far behind the, time, the times and the trends of what's going on with military warfare. And Russia has basically promoted themselves so far out there. In fact, it wasn't just two years ago that Donald Trump showed the whole world that the Patriot missile system is defeated immediately by the S-300 system. So when is it going to be time for the United States to realize that you are no longer the largest weapons manufacturer in the world and you no longer produce the best weapons? It's time to consume the idea that you are going to go out and have war with everyone because Russia has no problem selling weapons to anyone. It's what they do. And if you are trying to fight against people and your technology is not there, all you're going to do is dump tons of money because you're behind the eight ball. It's like the 5G problem. You want to be mad at Huawei. Why? Because Huawei's got 5G and you can't get into it. You can't listen to what they're doing. Well, so you attacked Huawei and know what they did? They just gave their technology away because they're already working on 6G. When you attack with the intent to harm, you flow right through the thing you're attacking if it has no substance. If you are the only thing that is a weapon, then nothing else around you is a target. You are your own target, your own worst enemy. Think about it. Do you want to hurt yourself or do you want to help the world? It becomes apparent that the fear mongering and the hatred and the anger that you put forward isn't helping the world, it's hurting you. Do not walk on boards with tacks in them unless you have ironclad shoes.